Okay, we'll start with the Mustard S60 Sprout wet fly hook, black tying thread. So this is a traditional wet fly pattern, so, but this size is excellent for sea trout. I've tied a lot of these for anglers travelling to South America to fish for sea trout. Very popular pattern there. So <clears throat> instead of wool I use silk for the tag. So just have a look at this, there we go. Let's tack that in there on top of the hook. Two or three turns and then we fold over. Don't worry about the, the uh, difference in the body thickness here because it's a seal's fur body so we'll seal's fur hides a phenomenal amount of misgivings. So there are some prefer a long tail, some a short tail. I like a medium size. <laughs> So we just trim that off and we'll go back up here to back there. <clears throat> Take our silver tinsel. Now this is a medium flat tinsel uh, but many prefer to use a uh, <coughs> sorry prefer to use a oval silver tinsel. So we just tag this in all the way back to the tail base like so. And we can go up once more again just to give a foundation for the seal's fur. So back to the tail base. There we are. <clears throat> now we'll need some tacky wax. Makes seals for a lot easier to handle. <clears throat> now, it's best not to try to apply too much seals fur at once. Push this up to the hook. We are. Hold it down with each turn just so you get everything in position. Bit too much wax there, get rid of that. There we are. On that back. Perhaps need a, a wee bit more there at the front. That's looking how it should do. I'll just take a tiny pinch of seals fur again. The great thing about this about seals fur is that it's so translucent and buggy that there's no other material like it. There we are. <clears throat> Good. Then we need a black cock hackle. Tie this in at the front. Just remove that end. Excellent. Then we can start winding this back. Nice open turns. All the way. And we'll take our silver tinsel. Catch the hackle in with it. There you want nice 
even turns of this. Don't worry too much about the hackle now, we'll brush that out afterwards. And the seals fair, there we go. Good. Just tag that in like so. Remove that. Pull everything back. Looking good, looking good. We'll brush that out as well. So we need to remove our hackle there. Then what we want is a blue hackle for the collar. So that's prepared as so. so I'll just show you how to grab that. These fibres have come. So if we just put a hackle plier on the front there we can pull all these fibres back, like so, then you have a bit of control over it. Take one behind to tighten it up. Go forward. Ackle plier. Fold the fibres back as we wind. turns there, keeping tension on your tying thread, then we can just winkle that out, give it a whip finish. Remove the tying thread. Then we need a a brush just to release the fibres. Fibres out of the hackle and the seals fat. So then what we need is some varnish. Okay, I'll just apply a small drop, never too much. there we have it the Zulu blue uh, interesting uh, very few people use these patterns anymore but they do work and it's nice to keep the tradition going that we're still tying them there we go thanks for watching